it will come back, mighty God, to our Christian life, to our homes in the church. Mighty God, I pray this morning that you will help us to be carriers of your presence and to be carriers of your anointing. Help us to be dwellers, my God, in your secret place and not visitors this morning. Father God, help us to shine. Let us, oh God, your word declare let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify our Father which is in heaven. This morning, oh God, help us to be that light in the darkness, to be that light. Oh my God, when we go to work, for God, sometimes we carry two self. We have work self and we have church self. But this morning, my God, let us bring our church self to work this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our church self must display wherever we go this morning father we thank you that even now god you are doing a good work you are doing a work on our hearts this morning father we pray you will cover each person on this line this morning oh god those who are going to school to work in the classrooms this morning we pray that you will cover their minds this morning my god for they have to deal with children who are coming from different homes my god different challenges but this morning god i pray that your strength my god will be their portion in the name of jesus my god let your peace oh god be our anesthesia this morning we honor your great name this morning, God, and we say thank you, mighty God, for doing, oh God, that which you are about to do in the lives of your people. Remember those who are not saved, God, we pray that you will bring them, mighty God, let there be a tugging on their hearts this morning. Let there be a pulling in their hearts this morning. Those who are backsliders, let there be a pulling in their hearts this morning. My God, that they will return, oh God, and come to know you as their Lord and Savior. Father, we pray even now that you will continue to be with us and that you will take full control on this line this morning as we say thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Anyone else would like to pray this moment? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his bounteous love, and I have protection from my Lord above. Jesus walks beside me every passing day, and I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. Oh, yes, I'm over. A shadow by his boundless love, and I have protection. Oh, from my Lord above, oh, Jesus walks beside me every passing day. Oh, and I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. My, 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 yes, I'm overshadowed. Hallelujah. By his bounteous love, mm -mm -mm, protection from my Lord above. Oh, every passing day. Oh, and I know he guide me all the way, all the way. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the King of Kings this morning. Mighty God, I lift you up this morning. I honor you, God. Glory be to God. You are worthy. Hallelujah to be glorified. Mighty God, you are worthy to be magnified this morning. Creator of heaven and earth. Creator of the universe. Mighty God, I glorify you this morning. I reverence you, God. You are mighty. Hallelujah. You are great. You are the all-sufficient one. Mighty God, you're the one that woke us up in my right mind. Thank you this morning for waking me in my right mind this morning. I give you honor and praise and I glorify you this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, the great 
I am the I am that I am mighty God, the one who said let there be and there was mighty God, the one that created man in his image and likeness. We bless you, my God. I bless you this morning. Thank you, mighty God. Mighty God, I come before you this morning. I pray you wash me, cleanse me, purge me, create me a clean heart, renew a right spirit. Cast me not away from your presence this morning. God Almighty, I'm not a sinner. I need you as my Lord and Savior come into my heart, come into my mind. My God, cleanse me this morning from every sin, known and unknown, this morning. And so this morning, I want to thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our Savior. Thank you for being our King. Thank you for being our Lord. Oh, God Almighty, you are King of all kings. You are the great I am this morning. You are the I am that I am. Thank you for being our counselor. Thank you for being our deliverer. Thank you for being our provider. Mighty God, this morning, we thank you. Mighty God, how can we say thank for the things that you have done? Things you want deserve that you gave your only son. A voice of a million healing angel cannot express our gratitude, God. Almighty this morning. How can I say thanks to you? Oh, God, the main fact that you wake me this morning. In my right mind, the main fact that I'm still breathing, oh God Almighty, the main fact this morning I'm standing here this morning, the main fact that I've breathed, oh God, I thank you, oh God Almighty, the main fact that every member of my body is still in talk. God Almighty, I thank you, God Almighty, this morning. I thank you for who you are. Thank you this morning. I can call upon you, mighty God, I can call upon you. Anytime you never sleep, you're not gonna never slumber. God, you're not a God that gone on any journey. My God, I thank you. Oh God, I'm for each and every one of us this morning that are here. Those who don't come as yet on this platform. I thank you for every person. Oh God, as we meet each morning, I say thank you, my God. We are not knowing everybody by face to face, but we thank you, God. We can hear their voices in, in the morning. Oh God Almighty, thank you for Minister Lex. Thank you for oh God Almighty Foster. Thank you for oh God Minister Valerie. God Almighty, thank you for Minister Winsome. God, Lord God, I know all about uh, Minister Winsome. God, oh God, I will. Uh, oh God, uh, she come in my mind the other day. Oh God, I don't hear her voice from the other day. God Almighty, where oh God, wherever she's at this time. Oh God Almighty, I pray that you. Cover Minister Winsome God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, make provision, make way, make comfort for your daughter. God Almighty, you know all about her. And so this morning, oh God, I pray you give her a visitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, whatever situation, whatever circumstances, whatever she pray to you about, Lord, ah oh, God, I pray you grant her desire, grant her need. Oh God, grant her a petition in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, I put your daughter, I put your unmade, I put your mouth peace before you this morning. Oh God, I know her before she was conceived. You know all about Sister Winsome. And so I place her before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for Pastor Johnson this morning. My God Almighty, I thank you for her family. Thank you, God, for every one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you for means that I'll tell this. Oh, oh God Almighty, thank you for every person, my God. God, Apostle Chin, my God, Apostle Gregory, Apostle Mitchell, God, we thank you, oh, Bashima Hanama Kuturubu, thank you for Dr. Rose, my God, as we minister, oh, God, each morning, thank you for your platform, God Almighty, oh, God, as we meet, oh, it helps us to be uplifted, oh, God Almighty, help us, oh, God, to fellowship with one with each other. Oh God, help us to be united. Oh God, we don't have to know persons to be united. We thank you for this fellowship. Oh God, the of fellowship, what a joy divine as we lean on your everlasting arms this morning. And so God, I put every person, we thank you God, like God, those who are going through, my God. Oh God, so many times we meet in the morning, but so many people are going through and they're not 
talking god are so silent but they are feeling the pressure no pressure my god and my body this morning i speak over your mind oh god and my i speak over your situation this morning oh god almighty this morning those unspoken requests god and silent them are go through my god almighty turn my life my god but you are silent about it oh god even the morning when you ask for requests lord god fear they don't want to talk lord god the situation them are go through god my god and my some of them are suffer from low self-esteem but we cancel that devil oh god come upon them and now we will bind you you demon of low self-esteem we rebuke you from that person yes we reject you i take come on and take your hands off this morning oh, we send the blood of jesus christ of another to the, that woman we send the blood to that man we send the blood to that person even now in the name of jesus christ we declare man declare oh god healing and deliverance over that person over their mind my god almighty we come again fear my god i declare and declare yes mighty god oh god i'm those person that free that afraid of talking about i oh, got talk out their request my god because it oh god fear a person will save even now in the uh, rebuke fear the blood of jesus christ of another is again fear we come on fear to and we uplift fear we uproot fear from you my god in the name of jesus christ of another mighty god i put them on this platform for help oh god almighty and i know god that when they pray go in the morning no one will Ha, no one will carry it out, God, my almighty. And so this morning, I pray for help for them. My God, that they will talk their request that help will come to them. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I live fear, the blood of Jesus. You see, I'm not giving a spirit of fear, but power, love, sound, mind. We cancel fear. We reject fear. We send back fear. Oh, God, for the, to the abbeys this morning, in the name of Jesus, those friends that are suffering from fear, Fear, low self esteem, reject you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, those are suffering from abuse from the youth, from the youth, God Almighty, abuse being render your none and void. I come and take your hands off. I declare and declare deliverance to that person this morning in the name of Jesus Christ you demon of abuse from the youth my God this morning take your hands off I command freedom in their mind freedom in their body so I help them to suffer from low self esteem in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth my God those who suffer from rape abuse in the name of Jesus Christ of the mentally and physically this morning we scatter your plans we reject you in the name of jesus christ take your hands off we release the blood of jesus over them this morning we come on a cleansing oh god we come on a purging from the power of the holy ghost this morning in the name of jesus christ it's not by might nor by power but it's by your spirit to the lord of hosts this morning spirit of the living god fall afresh my god in the name of jesus christ of another the command healing to their mind we prophesy healing oh riba shata iba koto we declare we declare healing to your mind we command your mind to be in perfect peace this morning i declare and declare that your mind will be in perfect peace this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth my god ever force of darkness everything that come against your people oh god almighty this morning oh god, every spirit of anxiety yes your blood of jesus your demon of, of anxiety we take your hands off this morning we rebuke you Oh, Shakata. Ah, your spirit of anxiety this morning. We rebuke this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, a person that is suffering from the spirit of anxiety. We reject, we rebuke you. Well, we can't your assignment, devil. Oh, God, and my in the name of take your hands off, God, people. This morning, I speak, I call you by name. You demon of anxiety, I rebuke you. Lord of G, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I reject you this morning. My God and my I speak to your body. Ever nervousness. Ah, da, da, basha. Ever spirit of nervousness. Lord God Almighty. Oh God, I come on healing. Yes. 
healing to your body. You spirit of nervousness this morning. My God, I come and heal into your body this morning. I speak in, I prophesy healing this morning. God, there's a healing in the children's bread. I come and healing on this platform. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus, your demon of nervousness. Ah, ah, dry up. Can't your assignment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, my God, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the Living God, let your blood prevail. You look him, yes, my God, in the name of Jesus, I speak to ever look him this morning, my God, I can't, my God, dry up from the root this morning, dry up. You are not of God. My God, when Jesus makes us, we're normal and perfect. I speak to that child. My God, the spirit of Lukim, I speak to that child. I come and heal into that child. My God, I speak healing to that child this morning. My God, dry up from the root. In the name of Jesus Christ, of now your fainting spirit. Dry up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, ah, you demon of fainting, you demon of Lukima, dry up, my God Almighty, you demon, my God, a sickle cell spirit, my God, I come on healing this morning, mighty God, the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for you, my Abakutu. Shiba kuturubu, shiba ndubu kutu, ribaba kutu, shikutu numu kuturubu kutu, ribaba kutu kuti kuturubu sha, makutu kuti kutu kutu kulubu kutu, makut, mayaba kutu, dry up blood of Jesus, ah, speak to your body this morning, my God, you sick of hell spirit, ah, speak to your body, oh, la maka, line up, Shakutu, line up, manda katu kuchikutu, ribaba kutu, shibo koto, rababa kutu rubush, shimo kutu, ramama kutu rubush, ibo koto, lamu kutu, shiku katu kutu lubu kutu, ribu kutu kutu, tikutu kutu, ma mukutu kuribi kutu, dry up, load and fire, my God, and my ever. Ian in the giant. Ah, ya baba ko dobo koto kutu. Ye ma kutu. You pian in the knee. Pian in the giant. Ribo dry up. Ma yaba kutu. Ma ku dibi kutu. Ma yaba kutu. Dry up from the root. You are not of God. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of my green, Lord God Almighty. Mayaba kuturubu. Hey, Bakoto, I speak to your body this morning. Lord God Almighty. Ah, you sleep, let you come to ah, God, no sleep in the night. You migraine that cause no sleep. Ah, uh, God, I hear the Bible say you give the beloved sweet sleep. Ah, uh, come on, it will dry up this morning. Ah, uh, speak to every sickness. I speak to every your body this morning. Uh, line up this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, I say you by your stripes, you are healed, you are wounded for a transgression this morning. You are bruised for our iniquity. God Almighty, this morning, I speak over this platform, every sickness, every, every disease. Lord God Almighty, known and unknown this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Spirit of the Living God, have your way this morning. Oh God, we come on healing, deliverance, and breakthrough and miracle this morning <coughs> in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, let your blood prevail. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God Almighty, let your will be done this morning over your life of your people this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of <coughs> Nazareth, God, every spirit of diamonds, Lord, oh God, every diamond spirit this morning, oh God Almighty, come on to arise and shine for the light has come, you spirit of diamonds, yes, God Almighty, hey, could, uh, come alive, uh, speak over your system, oh, come alive in the 
power of the Holy Ghost. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your spirit of dumb and see, oh God Almighty, come alive. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, mighty God, out of our belly shall flow reverb of living water. Decree and declare that you will flow this morning through you. My God, I come at in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak utterance. Oh, my katu ribi koto riba shakatu makutu rubu shiba. In the name of Jesus Christ, a daman tulang raba kutu. Hey, tulang you're in the valley. Raba baba shiba kutu ribo come alive. Maku ama shibo koto riba come alive. Pull you out a load the bar. Hey, 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 cold. I pull you, Makoto, from low self-esteem. I pull you from low the bar. Shabo Koto. Come on in around the king's table this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm not going to speak. Oh, God, I say you give us tongue ready. I pull. Lord God, I'm going to pray put your life cool up on that tongue. Lord God Almighty, ah, they can't hold a peace in you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, I speak over that ministry. I speak over you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Spirit of God, let your blood prevail and let your perfect and your divine will be done. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God, Lord, let your blood prevail this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I speak over that person. Oh God, if that is not short, the, oh God, what do you call him to be? Oh God Almighty. Ah, yes, Holy Ghost. My God, I pray you bring clarity to them. I declare and declare they will bring clarity this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We bless you this morning. We bless you. Oh God, we bless Bless you, oh Haba. We bless you, oh Daba Katu Ibasha. We bless your name this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, as I must give thanks unto you for your good and your mercy endure it this morning. We thank you for your mercy that endure it, oh Lord God, forever. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, ya bo koto lobo shiba kutu. Ribo koto lobo shaba. My God, I pray for the person at the work, please. Lord God, turmoil at the work, please. Ever grudge. Yes, the blood of your demon of grudge. Ah, man, da ibo ko. Take your hands off. I reject, I rebuke you. Lord God, I come on. Peace of our mind. Yeah, God Almighty. In the name of your demon of grudge and bad mind. Your new carrying spirit. I can't play your assignment over that life this morning. In the name of uh, uh, my God Almighty. I rebuke the darkness. I come and light over you this morning. Oh God, that they will see you. Oh God, uh, the position belongs to you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Hallelujah. And we give you all the praise because it is due unto you this morning. We thank you for your fellowship. We thank you for your love. We thank you, mighty God, for who you are. We thank you that we can call upon you anytime. God Almighty, this morning, we give you all the praise. And we tell us thanks, God, for what you're doing and what you're about to do for us throughout this day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Can amen. we all just unmute at this time and send up some amen. praise? Amen. Hallelujah. We love the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
for persons who are in the faith walk whatsapp group um lady christine um send a message at 6 17 for us to pray for her son and since we are here on the prayer line i'm gonna ask us to agree to get a little unmute and we're gonna put her son before the Lord. she said that she has been in emergency from um 3 a.m so before the speaker we're just gonna pray yes lady broomfield you can remain on mute and we're all gonna pray at this and can can we just unmute at this time and let us you know connect together with this one hallelujah Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, anyone else, Lord, Father, we come to the way she did in the I'm 
Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Jesus. of Nazareth, Spirit of the living God, we thank you for healing. Oh Jesus. God, we thank you for deliverance. Oh God, we thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for miracle. We thank you this morning. Oh God Almighty, what the doctor can do, you are the healer. What the doctor, oh God, can do, you are the deliverer. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, you are the one that raised the dead, heal the sick. Oh God, it's one of the deliverance. Lord God, the man was living, oh God, in the graveyard. Lord God, live by the king. But God Almighty, you heal in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing. And so there's nothing to add. You are the God of yesterday. You are the God of today. You never change. You never fear. Oh God, the right hand God this morning. So you are the same God. Lord God Almighty, we give you praise and honor this morning. And we lift you up this morning, God, for who you are. Oh God, we thank you for healing. We thank you. I got for healing your healing power over that child. We thank you for your deliverance over the mother. We thank you for coming to. We thank you this morning. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we tell us thank for what you're doing and what you're about to do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, my Father, for what you're about to do and what is already done. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We lift our faith this morning for Lady Christine and her, her son. Hallelujah. This morning, glory to God. It's already done. Hallelujah. Over to you, Lady Nicola. Good morning, everybody. God bless you, um, Minister Life. God bless you, everybody. Once again, as usual, I want to welcome everybody to Faith Walk. Thank you for being here. Thank you for availing of yourselves and for seeing the need for us to come together in unison to reach out and touch the hem of Jesus' garment. Because when we do that, there is deliverance, there's victory, there's breakthrough, and there is healing, and there is a mighty outpouring of God. And so this morning, I just want to tell you that God sees your sacrifice and that God, he is indeed looking over you, looking over us, and that he just wants faith from us so that he can be pleased because the word of god says that without faith it is impossible to please god so let's just hold on to that it's that time now where we receive a word from god and here to deliver the word as usual on a wednesday morning we know we have our resident pastor and i now hand over to our pastor gregory mitchell in care of the holy ghost Amen. God bless you, mighty woman of God, Pastor Nicole. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, First Lady. Let's the God be the glory. All the wonderful pastors, Dr. Rose, um, mighty man of God, God's uh, choice apostle, and to um, Reverend Shane and all the pastors, Pastor Johnson that I've spoken um, sometime earlier this week. Praise God. Or last week. Or, um, all the pastors and line ministers, praise God, the minister, evangelist, pastor who um, is there as well each morning. We thank God for you all, for all God's wonderful prayer warriors and intercessors. As long as you are a part of the family of God, I just bless God for you. You know, I was just sitting here and saying, I I saw the, 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 um, the request from our sister and she was like in a broken mood where um literally she was questioning praise god her existence and her walk you know um in the lord and just wondering if there is anything that is not connecting on her behalf or she requests prior for a situation confronting her praise god we know it is not easy to be in an hospital and not getting access to um um 
doctors and nurses as you would want to it it kind of overbearing and um sometimes becomes so tiring and painful what well, you're running out of patience praise god but to god be the glory and um, prior changes things and it was right there and then first lady let saw and and would have um asked us to to um pray over but we are believing god for victory and victory lies ahead and indeed it is all it has already been done we are believing god by faith we are not putting any doubt we are just waiting now for the testimony to say that god came through and we are praying for favor over god's servant we are praying for favor over her um a situation confronting her right now and her son praise god we know that when we release prayers like this through faith this is the platform of faith walk <laughs> we are not only walking faith we are we are living by faith faith is our avenue whereby which we trust god there is no doubt when we come together on this platform we eliminate such doubtful spirit and so um we we have no need to waver when we cross the platform of faith walk this is the place where priors have been made through faith believing and there is no doubt the gates that doubt would have crept in through has been closed before the platform of faith walk open every morning and so when we pray we pray believe in god that it is done and the impossibilities have been possible have become possible bless god it is such a wonderful privilege to be back here um this morning again praise god it was good to be on yesterday good to be on um day before and and for those who have been here every morning there are persons who not one day they have not missed out and so we give god glory for that we bless god for the word yesterday it was such a powerful um word it came across as a warning praise the name of the lord hallelujah it was heavy it was strong ah the signs of rebuke and and instruction and and exhortation came across yesterday from god's powerful evangelist we give god praise for his voice and this platform today is just an awesome privilege that god is still able to come through for his people and um traveling all day yesterday praise god for those who are living in the connecticut area uh, i am close to you right now praise god just been here in Hartford. praise god and just um doing according yesterday was such an amazing day you know um i i came here lord i'm telling you god is so good he have a way of setting you up i came here we we came in from teaneck um new jersey and um travel along meet up with our pastor friend on the way pastor paul praise god i thought we were coming to his house to prepare some 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 pre-graduation meal for his wife uh, you know that we, we will visit the Imogen who always been on will be getting um 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 her certification through her deep studies that she have done walking up the aisles in her graduation ceremony on thursday so we are here trying to prepare some food yesterday um cooking up a star man and setting up tables putting up tent cleaning down chairs decorating and all of that but i didn't take a deep note that i was restricted after put up the tent i was restricted from going in the tent and i never really take it for a big deal you know i know when ladies doing their thing they want to be private so i i remain while i'm talking share with somebody because there's a word for the people today so um i was there preparing and doing some jerk chicken and curry chicken and cooking up a stam and ladies putting stuff together 
people of God, never knowing that the people were planning a, a pre-birthday party for me. Can you believe it? I was cooking my own food. I said to them, you, you, you let me sharpen the knife that, that stick me. Praise God. You know, but it was just an awesome time last night. Um, the student from GGBI and past graduates and all of that came through on the Zoom. And um, for those who were in the house, we give God praise. Um, in my life, can you believe it? In my entire life is the first birthday party I ever had over 46 years. Can you believe that, my people? Don't you think God is a good God? Praise the name of the Lord. Is the first I ever seen a cake with my name. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Blessings, blessings, yeah. blessings. Happy birthday. What a blessing. My I'm gonna God. Let him down. My God. My God. What a blessing, woman of God, men of God. The first time I ever listen, I said to the people last night, I was so emotional. I was really emotional. Um, because I've never had the chance to sit down and have a birthday party you know and and that was one of my plan that i said you know one of these days i really going to kill one of them pig that is giving me trouble praise god i i i i just lose 15 pigs but nonetheless in my losing god allow me to be gaining and that's what we're going to be looking at this morning you know um the, the losing and the gaining uh in this regard but i've never seen a cake with my name I remember, so I was saying to the folks, when I was young, um, people used to curse us out, you know, because, you know, you were not the top student in your community and they thought that you were the worst person. People say you went near your name and bull a cake, why? I never forget these things. And they used to call us dunce and good for nothing. And, and the tutor said, you are a hopeless case. My God, hallelujah. How would you feel if a tutor would look at you and said, boy, you are an hope, you are a hopeless case. My God, that's like a dagger put it to the heart of a man. Hallelujah. It didn't stop there. One woman looked at me and said, you're going dead in prison and then going to throw away the keys like Marcus Garvey. Every time I remember these things, I said, God, you are so good and your mercies endures forever oh it's a god another tutor look at me and said you go and push and cat until you're dead jesus christ the same woman who we used to push and cat and carry water full up our drum a rusty drum we need tar in it jesus of mercy Mm -hmm. uh, she said, you're going to push and cut until you're dead. Because that's what we knew then. Um, our, our bread comes from pushing and cut and looking dry wood and carrying it to your house for you to cook your food for your same picnic that is doing well, to be doing well. And the person who create the platform for you to, to, to provide for your children, you curse out, hallelujah, the donkey who carried the Lord. What a wicked set of people, cursing the donkey. And I heard the woman of God speaking about it yesterday, the ungrateful spirit man, Jesus Christ. A lot of us online, some of us who are doing well today, we were told that you'll never be doing that. A lot of us, the, the things that we end up doing today come as a big, huge surprise to a lot of the people because you were told that you going to get pregnant for 10 different men and you going to grow those 10 children on your own. And I know that there are women online here that you thought that your life would have been better and further gone from where you are today. But God has kept you through the midst of your trials. When you're going through the burning of the life journey that you are have been through, you thought that things would have been better yet and it's just not getting better yet but god is still working on you many of you were told that you would never amount to anything good 
You were called names, dirty girl and worthless girl and good for nothing girl and 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 coffish boy and all these now this this crediting names and pronoun and declarations were spoken over your life. Your mama was pregnant with you, and many people look down at her. But look at you today. Huh? The same dirty girl where them used to call you. Look at you today. Turn nurse and office secretary and an accountant. Praise God, business woman. You have your own family now. Your children, huh, who they thought would have been fatherless. Jesus Christ. And even if your children are fatherless, you stood it out and you 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 bite the bullets and you 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 go to bed literally hungry to cause your children to have bread today. They graduate from university and become great women and men in our society. And they are impactors of these people's life who spoke down to you when you were at your lowest. And look at you today. God is alive and well, people of God. No make nobody put you down. Hallelujah. Lord, I feel this man in his heavy man. Oh God, something good is happening. No make nobody discredit your worth. Women of God, men of God, even if you can't read and write, that doesn't stop God from pouring out favor and blessing upon you. God's anointing is not coming upon you in regards to if you can read or write, even if you can't spell your own name. God still love you. If you don't have a man in your life, God still care about you. If them break your heart and leave you with the children, God still have a plan for your life. Take courage. I don't know who I'm encouraging today. You lose the house that you pay down on. But God still cares for you. They burn down everything that you ever own. But God still cares about you. People of God, I'm encouraging somebody today. You feel like this journey is being unkind to you because your heart's desire hasn't yet manifested. Jesus Christ, man. I feel like somebody's going through a tunnel. <laughs> Hallelujah to God this morning. But see it walk prior line. Stand behind you, sister, brother. I know the burdens are heavy. I know the sorrows are many. I know the trials and the pain that you have been through. My God, how much ridicule have you gone through? How much people had looked down on you and tell you that you're worthless? Not even worthless. Them say you're worthless. Hmm? And look at you today. Huh? When you look in your closet, come on, people of God, man. We have enough to give God thanks for. When you look, when some people now have walk in closet. God Almighty. When you're young, you have to hang up your clothes from the back of the door and one nail. Oh, Jesus Christ, have mercy. You use what? You not indeed have hunger. So much <laughs> a hunger. We call it rock. No, sir. You have to hang the, the pants by the center loop in the back and the nail and the back of the door. Huh? And look at you today. Have walked in closet, clothes on top of clothes till you have to give a clothes and bags and shoes on top of shoes, shoes all in a box. As I talk, look at you looking around and how much shoes you have in a box. You don't even wear them yet. And people tell you that you ain't gonna come out to anything. The devil is a liar. Turn it back and send it back in the stomach of the adversary. You were born to win, and nothing is going to black God's favor of your life. You were designed to conquer, and nothing by any means is going to distract you from being what God says you're going to be. Hallelujah. They didn't see that coming. They didn't know God's plan. They don't understand the ways of God for your life. But look at you today. They thought you would have been dead. But Lord yeah. Jesus, you have, yeah. you, you, you have, they have a next guest coming. They thought by this, your bones would have been white. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel like I'm preaching already. Jesus Christ have mercy. They thought that you, you, you would have been the one 
worst thing, man. And you would live begging for bread. I remember we literally used to have to beg for yeah. We have to go to our neighbor's house and say, Auntie Kulu, please, Mama say, she have beg your piece of fire. We used to have to borrow salt, salt, people of God, salt. I don't know if there is anybody online who used to have to run to their neighbor's house and beg like a salt and torture leaf or an, an, a little piece of book leaf or something like that just to put a little flavor in your pot. I don't know if there is anybody online who have never uh, had the opportunity or time to, to cook a nice dinner. There is nothing... And even until today, there are times when the bills are so high and you just can't afford not even a night dinner. But in the twinkling of an eye, God come through and send a good friend to say, come, let's go out on the road. You don't know where they're going, but because you're at home and not now go on, you said, okay, I'm coming. When you look, it's Burger King, them try you gone. Or one of your favorite restaurants or a restaurant that you have no idea. You didn't even know that they were going to Little Ochi. And you don't have have even the last dollar to buy the first fish which is for four thousand dollars and more and you you are sitting down now eating a four thousand dollar fish with 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 festival and and banning and some nice ring onion and nice brown stew cook up about whichever choice you want god knows how to provide for his people he is the way maker and we are here today, not because we don't have nothing to do. We are here because God is good. And we are out here to join forces together in prayer. Many of the people who God has been good to, uh, they are ungrateful like a crazy. They don't spend time to say, thank you, Lord. And they don't remember that they were coming from the mire. And God turned the tide and things changed. Now they're married to white man. And praise God, have your own husband. And you're pretty here, picking them and everything going good you turn your back on god because god take you out of your island and you become internationally renowned and all of that no that's the time when you need to say god when i look back where i'm coming from and what you have done for me and where i am now and you start to remember the people mighty god almighty who used to say you would have never come out to anything good when you look on the bungla key in your bag not to mention the car you're driving praise the name of the lord when you stand up sometimes you must come out of your house and go look for your house where you own come out of your house and go outside and look at it and say look at god it's only God could have taken you out of rent house. Only God could have given you that bunch of key that is your own. And you know, own nobody, nothing. And even if you're paying mortgage up to you, living a hit with, 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 with pride, God has blessed you, my people. And no, make nobody speak down to what God is blessing. Look here, man. Oh, glory to God Almighty. I am telling you, a lot of us, and even if you haven't seen it yet, my brothers and sisters, trust God's leading. Trust the process. God is coming through for you. Today, I want to I want to just look at a text that is being ringing out in my soul. You know, I just I just did so a while ago to encourage somebody because <laughs> look look at me. Look at me. Um, for example, as I go into this text, um, the, the, the woman who told me that I'm a hopeless case and that I will push and cut until I die. When I went to bury my mother in 07, when she heard me preaching, and it was Dr. V.T. Williams who, um, who um, invited me to the pulpit. He was the one who handed over to me. When he spoke about me and tell the people who I am um, and the people heard this mighty man of God, one of Jamaica's most prominent evangelists uh, um, minister of the gospel, V.T. Williams, um, welcoming me to the platform to preach over my mama's body at a young age, as a young pastor. It wowed the congregation because they are saying, we only heard this man on radio and see him on TV and this little boy who we thought would have never come out to anything good. This man 
who is one of Jamaica greatest? Eh? It's like a Jamaica TD Jakes. When they look and see that it is the same worthless boy with them call him worthless boy, God take up and turn around mm? and take me out a tear up bottom pants and barefoot and put me in jacket suit and change me from the worthless boy with them call me to a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. God Almighty man, come on now somebody. You don't understand what is happening in your life when you come into a relationship with Jesus Christ. He turned the picture around and the side that was turned to the wall. Nobody has ever seen that side. The side of you that turned to the wall. Nobody no recognize it because their focus is on the picture that they are seeing. And the picture that they are seeing sometimes fade away, fade out. The color burn out. It look old because you're tired of it. But if you ever take down that something and turn the other side, Jesus have mercy, where the sun no touch, it's clean and pretty, brand new. God is about to turn somebody's life around today to the other side of the frame. Jesus have mercy, my God. I don't know who that is for, but there is a turnaround coming in your direction. And the outside of seeing a defeated person today, they are seeing a worthless person today. They are seeing a jobless person today. They are looking at you because you did not have the money to do you here. So you have to wear the time to work. You don't have the money, oh glory to God, to pay your fear. And you stood at the bus stop but God sent somebody who knew you and to stop and give you that ride that you need. You leave your house by faith. But God have a man who is about to show you the other side of the picture, man. Just take it down, turn it around, dust it off. And they say, wow, I didn't know that it was so beautiful on the other side. God is about to turn it around. Let's get in the word of God. I just feel like I would just keep talking and encouraging somebody today. But I'm still going to continue to encourage you in the word of God. Because a lot of us have suffered the tongue of wicked people. They have spoken lies. They have us to believe that we were going to be the worst thing. They thought that we would have never evolved to become anything good. But God give you the strength to strike back. Strike back. My God almighty man. When they see you coming back from your setback, they thought that you would have been buried by this. But look what the Lord has done. He heal your body. Oh God, he picks you up and he turns you around. Your home is about to experience a transformation. Your home will not live in confusion or continue in confusion. God is putting things in place for you, my friend. And even if you don't see it today, I'm telling you, don't doubt God. We we don't open doors for doubt over on this side of the river at all. So, so it's just straight confidence, it's straight trusting, it's straight believing, it's straight accepting, it's straight coming forward into, it's just conquering and conquering, it's just discovering and advancement. All of those things are over on this side. We don't step back, we don't doubt, we don't have fear, we don't, we don't speak down to, we don't look down at, we elevate people and look up to people and, and bless people and release people and declare stuff over over people's life here and faith walk the umbrella of the holy ghost is hanging over this platform i want to show you a, a, a passage of scripture glory to god from the book of first samuel chapter 31 that we always been reading because there is something i want to show you today and the, the, the lord spoke to me and showed me something very very deep and i really want to show it to you as we go through this text first samuel chapter number 30 Verse 1 declares, and it came to pass when David and his men were came or come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south of Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burnt it with fire and had taken the woman captive and uh, uh, were therein, that were therein, uh, they slew uh, not any. 
uh, either great or small, but they carried them away and went on their way. Uh, so David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burnt with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. David and his people and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power in them to weep. Oh, glory to God. And, and David's two wives were taken captive. Ahinoam, Ahinoam and, and uh, the Jezreelite and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, uh, the Carmelite. Oh, Lord. And, and David was greatly distressed. For the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of the people were grieved and every man for his sons and uh, his daughters but david encouraged himself in the lord his god and david said to abithar the priest amalek's son i pray thee bring me hither the heifer that piece of garment that causes him to be separated as king the heifer it was made from linen clothing the linen effort that's the one he danced until it was torn off him when the ark of the covenant of the lord reached the city of david in the land of israel when michal saul's daughter despised him in her heart in second samuel chapter six now an abithar brought thither the effort to David and David inquired. If you notice that David did not approach the throne room until the piece of garment, the linen effort was over him. That's a connection they, as a mediator, as a king, as a representer. There is a special way to go into the throne room. Uh, and Abithar brought to the, the effort to David, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after the, this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, David, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Hallelujah. I wish I could go on, but we will we will ex um, try to do an expository presentation with this text uh, i want to show you something about recovering all recovering all that i want to shoot from that standpoint today you shall recover it all everything that the enemy had robbed from your life or everything that the enemy has robbed from your children or from anyone that you make acquaintance with or in any regards at all <clears throat> excuse me you shall recover it all everything a, a lot of us a lot of us have suffered the the lashes and the fingers of criminals we have we have been sitting or sitting on the side of losing for some time not that we had become totally discouraged to the point where we <laughs> refuse to raise ourselves up and to keep moving forward but as for me i can talk for myself i have lost so much things in my lifetime if i should start to tell you I, literally you would have said well pastor you have been through too much and that's why i love god so much that's why i'm so passionate about the things of god that's why i'm so emotional when it comes on to <clears throat> sorry the things of god and 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 the importance of of winning battles from i was young I am losing things. When I plant my field when I was a toddler, 
people would go into my field and teeth. <laughs> Let me use the American standard style for those international. If, well, we are Jamaican. So uh, for those who are not, uh, even if you're living an international, you will understand. But the men go in my little grung, I'm a little field, and steal the very yam heads that I plant in the yam hill. I'm struggling from that. I'm struggling from when I would cover up my plate and when I look, one of my dumplings was stolen. I'm taking you back. <laughs> Some of you have, have the experience. My brothers would say, when you're praying, put your plate on your head. And when I took down my plate, the biggest piece of meat was gone. Because I thought that when I'm praying, I should put my plate on my head. I don't know if any of you have ever had those experience. Um, we used to um, go to school, students would steal our books and steal our pencils. And those are the minors. But I'm showing you that we are we are going through it from those days. And, 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 and a lot of stuff have been taken away from you throughout your lifetime. Glory to God. Um, you know, and as you go along life's journey and, and you begin to become greater, then greater things and begin to uh, start being missing from you where um many of you might have uh, uh, had cars after you start to own cars stolen from you many have stole um, um very uh, some very important things that you just can't i i was held up by gunmen and my laptop after laptop was invented was taken from me my money was taken my phone was taken other stuff was taken uh, my house was broken into ah uh, glory to god my television was taken my component set was taken my jewels was taken the very spread of my bed my clothes was taken shoes was gone uh, Glory to God, everything was ripped from my life. I remember, glory to God, I was, uh, uh, my shoes was stolen at my workplace. And when I finished working and go to the restroom or the, the changing area to change my clothes, my shoes was gone. And what was the only pair of shoes I had, praise the name of the Lord. And the only one, oh God, for those who live in Manchester, they know that Manchester woman, no love man with dirty shoes. So me no love dirty shoes at all. If you call to a Manchester girl, you know the first thing, I know um, First Lady Let's is a, is a Manchester woman, you know, when you see Pastor Let's, look at how the man pass out. His wife put him together and make sure that he's up to stand. Look how Pastor Michael look flashy. Oh God, his wife, praise God, Pastor Johnson, put the man of God together and make sure that when he step out of the house, everything coordinates and is in order man no skip loop on them thing because the wife is watching over you and so things have been stolen from our lives um in in in, in, in several times and we suffered a loss to the point where i was in the state men go to my home to steal my car they couldn't take the car so by the time i get home men come back to the house and stole the two front wheel of my car one of those tires are for fifteen thousand dollars it's a 17 inch rim and the guys then take away my stock rim of my car praise the name of the lord and i did not get discouraged i just feel like i wish i had grabbed one of those guys but to god be the glory maybe it would have been on the other side but i give god praise until today the enemy of our soul is still stealing from the people of god to the point where many of us have had oh glory to god the stuff stolen from our spiritual lives ah the devil had stolen our joy we were looking at the natural let's look in the spirit now and um, the devil had taken robbed you of your joy because trust me the first day you got married that joy that you enter with it is nothing close to that today you have been robbed of your joy you have been robbed of your smile you have been robbed of your laughter you have been robbed of the 
things that means much to you and the Christian walk that you once used to have have been robbed from you to the point where the Bible have to call us back to the place of our first love. Oh, glory to God, because our first love for the things of God has been robbed from us. People of God, the devil's plan is to kill and to steal and to destroy. He is not going to stop stealing from your life. But I say to you today, whatever the enemy has robbed from you, God is going to give you the strength strength and the tenacity to recover it all glory to god and so we have just gone through the text of first samuel's chapter number 30. david is the central figure of that matter concerning second first samuel chapter 30. David, my brothers and sisters, was a man after God's own heart, as we oftentimes declare. Uh, uh, although he had gone through many battles, I want you to understand that he was an overcomer. <laughs> and David had become a leader. Even though he had gone through many battles, he ended up becoming a leader. When he was running from Saul, the Lord sent him uh, to this cave, a cave that is called <laughs> the cave of Adullam. If you read the story, you will understand that the cave of Adullam, there David met 400 men in this cave that were in distress. They were in distress because they were rejected. These men were told that you worthless and you are prof and all of them something and 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 you, you you nothing good is not in you. But here is a warrior. Here is a man of God. Here is one who understand and know the mind of God. A man who is skillful and and his relationship with God was deep. You know, meet these four hundred men in the cave of Adolam, and these men were in distress, in doubt. They were in discontent. Who know and is immaculate man? He knows that one or dead no call it up. Simply term, uh, one of them not that way, plain term, Jamaican. A lot of us have been written off, you know, people of God. They don't know. I always said to people, don't bury me yet. Then when you put a seed in the ground, a, a, a lot of us have been thrown into, into, into pathways. Uh, and all we need is a little soil beneath us. My God, don't despise the sign, people. <laughs> Lord of mercy, I made him somewhere today. This thing sweet me. It ministers to me, so that's why I, I'm flexing like this. I'm ministering to you. Um, You see, a lot of us, all we need when people throw us away is to fall on a little sign. A place where, where we can um, bury out and send down a root. Just one root. A lot of us, we are in some jobs and we thought that because you are not at the top, you are not able. If you plant a tree in a gully and there are trees on the hillside, watch that coconut. Sometimes nobody no plant the coconut, you know, and drop it, drop a roll in the river and the water carry it, go out, out, way, way. as my mother would say, way, way. I've never gone to way, way. our pickle pole, our, our, our yonder place, you know. But the water carry that coconut seed way down and have it bouncing on the rocks. And sometimes you look at it, it, it bitter and it bruise. <laughs> the content and the outer layer of the coconut has been buttered because the water carry it down the stream hit it hard against rocks and sometimes end up in the bush and the trash 
and all kind of debris are uh, beating up on the coconut, the outer layer of the coconut has suffered the, 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 the hits and the bruise and the button. Uh, glory to God, and it is wet and soppy and saggy. Is sometimes the dirt content that is upon it. If you see the morass that grew over it, you will not put your hands on it. But there is something on the inside of that content that has not been penetrated by what is happening on the outer layer. Jesus Christ, I'm talking to somebody this morning, man. I don't know who I'm releasing from the mire that you are in, but the outer layer, Paul fix it. Paul says, though the outer man perisheth, hallelujah to the Lamb, yet the inner man renewed daily, and Christ in me is my hope of glory. Glory to God, hallelujah. Ooh, the content is being battered, but the inner, the inner, the inside of the outer layer, man, there is something on the inside that have the ability and the capability to burst forth. All it needs is a little side and and coconut. I notice coconut, coconut <clears throat> bursts even when it doesn't have soil to send down the root what happened it searches for a place where the root can feed from any dirt content that it can find and even though it is on the side of the rock but the root searches for the soil and when it touches the soil this this the, the, the fertile soil begin to feed the root of this tree that is burst out on the side of the rock because it was placed there by the water not by the hand of a man with a machete but that does not stop that coconut tree from growing mighty god all you need is to land on a little soil where your root can grow people of god the men were in distress they were in discontent. They were hopeless. They feel miserable. They feel like they were living in drought and nobody cares about them. Nobody have any good thing to say about them. But God have a man whose name was David. And David recognized that something good was in these men. And what he did, he called them, he put them together, and he taught them. He taught them how to be trained, and he trained them as mighty men of war, of war and they became David's army. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, when David and these same men who he have trained, glory to God, now they were not called discontent men or distressing men or our cave men they were called david and his men glory to god and so the bible says david and his men return because no david had them in war he trained them as warriors they came back from the war only to realize that ziklag the place where they abide and their family lived and reside is destroyed by the amalekites the amalekites invaded the south of ziklag and burned the city and and took away the men's wife and David and his men, they cried, they wept, they holler, they, 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 they do it so loud until they had no more strength left in them to weep. Can you imagine yourself being in that situation because your marriage has been severed, the enemy crept in and burned your relationship and has taken away what meant good to you the gold that was there the platinum that was there the things of god that you used to talk about the good times that you used to have but my god the 
enemy has crept in and has robbed you of your marriage and taken your joy and leave you in distress but i'm saying to you today my sister i'm saying to you my brother all is not lost you shall recover it all because god is not through with you yet just give god a little chance to land you on some good soil mighty god of daniel i know you have cried until there is nothing left in you to cry about because the amalekites has invaded your life and has taken away that which meant a lot to you oh glory to god you have spent your life building this castle and the devil has burned it to ash but god is going to give you the strength and you shall recover it all hallelujah to the lamb of god they found the city burned their sons and their daughters were taken captive by the amalekites and david my God Almighty, he was there looking and wondering what to do. David and his men, they cried until they have no more strength and they reached a breaking point and the people even turn against david lord jesus i wanted to stone him as i go along i have to exegete the text because i want you to understand i don't want to miss any point but there are times when people who were living in the gutter you pick them up and you clean them off and you say come live come live in the house hallelujah you cook your food and you feed them you take your money and you bless them you even gone to the point where you go in your closet and take out your best suit ah glory to god can i say ornament and clothe them you put them in style you get a job for them you even gone to the point where you even uh, introduce them to your friend so to it that they would have been married uh, i know that you have blessed them enormously with things that they never have in their possession you give them access to things that they have never had access to they used to you to have to go look wood how when rain fall them can cook and you bring them in they have access to your fridge they have access to your big six burner gas stove they have access to your microwave they have access to your nice jacuzzi or your ceramic tile bathroom with slide curtain my god access to you your blanket and um, cupboard access to you to you your towel cupboard you give them brand new toothbrush you give them brand new slippers you give them nice bedside rug and even your brand new blanket you take it out and you give them lord jesus and all of a sudden the devil crept in and the thing turn upside down and the same hand that you feed turn around and bite you jesus have mercy you hear how much things i spoke about that you just did for that person and there is much more that you have i know somebody is connecting you know because i can feel your spirit i'm i'm feeling you pulling me i feel you pulling me I can hear you calling. I see you shouting hallelujah. I see you beating your leg. I say, who tell this preacher? I could hear your heart beating. I hear you. I, I see your ears jumping and your eyeball lifted so high. Even as I'm saying what I'm saying, you're saying, dear God, look at you walking away. Look. Look at you, mighty God of mercy. Look at you clapping your hand. You can't believe that you have been so good to people and they turn on you. Jesus, got the same hand that you stretch to feed them, they turn on and bite, stab you in the back. I heard, the, you think that woman of God wasn't hearing from God yesterday? She was being real. The people that you take care of and feed them and do good for them, you go in the bank and you take out your money that you have to do your business and you lend it to them and know them don't give it back to you and you have to and you have to say to yourself god knows i'm not ask you again for it i'm not going to ask you again for it because i went out of my nothing 
to bless you and you are so ungrateful to the point where instead you give me back my money when me lend you you turn around and cuss me and I chat me with with other people what a evil in the land jesus have mercy and and we struggle as human with this kind of situation and 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 sometimes trust me it take god for you for bounce back and and all of these things jesus jesus not easy you know my people in all of this jesus said forgive them mighty god of mercy sometime forgiveness let me tell you something it not take chicken to forgive because when you look at some of the things that people have done to you hmm? turn around and take away your man from you your best friend take away your man you know take away your woman and all these things i'm talking these real stuff because persons are online that are connecting with what i'm saying the people turn against you and and rob you of your family hmm? rob you of your family and 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 uh, when you think about forgiving these people how do you feel how do you feel the, the guy abusing your daughter so much and you really want this guy to be in your daughter's life think about it my people you know we have to be real you have spent so much money to send this child through college and university and now look at who the, the young man the, the, the young girl or the young man taking his life to say this is my partner and come with them it makes you bleed inside it makes you wonder i wonder if she, she really lose her school or something you have no regard for what your mother or your father has done for you you bring in this this i could not see you my child with a man who is a ganja smoker look at his head look how him having pants where your belt uh, put up yourself together my daughter that have spent so much investing in her look at who you 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 bring in to introduce to me oh daddy that is my friend and you 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 want to go out with with him then all of a sudden you get pregnant and i really didn't want you to be that for you but how can you forgive when you see these things <clears throat> it takes god in you to forgive when you are hurting it takes god in you to uh, forgive and to reconcile with people and to um um what they call it um regenerate people back to the place where they they used to be uh, when you have been so hurting um because of what they have done for you people of god look at this david the men who david had helped turn against him they turn against him and david was left by himself because they thought of stoning him but david no god for himself david inquired of the lord and david asked god after he put that effort on him over to god but then something rose up in david and he strengthened himself in the lord and, and he asked god after he encouraged himself he said god shall i pursue this troop and uh, uh, will i overtake them and the lord responded to david and said pursue them david pursue them for you shall surely overtake them without fail you shall recover everything that they had stolen from you all i'm saying to you today and this matter rise up in faith rise up in faith faith walk rise up in faith the assignments sent from the enemy are meant to divert your attention of your purpose but as you pursue the dreams that you have the calling and the vision that i have placed in your heart say the lord your perseverance will indeed 
to pull you ahead into what you have been called to do by the Almighty God, people of God and line. God has called you to this. These are misfortunes that were sent to destroy you will strengthen you as you endure the hardness of the good as a good soldier. My God, without wavering, you shall recover it all. My God, I'm getting into your spirit. Do not allow the enemy to intimidate you at all. And don't be moved by the, in, in the, by the ineffectual strategies of the adversary. You are about to bounce back. Rise up as men and Come women. On, of Come on, Hallelujah man. to God. Your position in God. Hallelujah. Mm. As a warrior that have created you to be. God wants you to win. You are not designed to lose. You are not called mm. to this to be defeated. You are more than conqueror to Christ who loves you. My people, rise up to it, God. Mm. I feel preachers, man. You are called to conquer. You are called to win. The is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. And the God called you to it. He has furnished you for it. And he will keep you as you fight in it. And he's never going to leave you alone. He promised that never will he leave you. Neither will he forsake you. Jesus said to the disciples, Lo, I will be with you always, even to the ends of the earth. Oh, you are God. not defeated. You are not going down. You are not our glory to God going under. You are indeed an overcomer. I'm saying to you this morning Amen. that the Amen. Of God, uh, when you're going through your dark this time COVID like be to the Lamb of God. Your children might not be reaching up to the expectations that you have for them. Your son is against you. Your daughter is against you. Wow. All that you have invested. My God, you put roof over their head. My God, you put clothes on their back. You put shoes on their feet and the fridge is uh, at their access and they have access to everything. You even went ahead and put their names in your account, Jesus Christ, and then in turn see your account. That does not mean you should give up. Encourage yourself in the Lord. God is going to allow you to recover it all. Jesus Christ of mercy. Oh, it not lost, my friend. Oh, weeping may endure for a night, but I just see you. I feel God coming, man. Hallelujah. Your joy is coming back. Your peace is coming back. All that you have lost is coming to you in good measure, pressed down, taken together, and running over. I pray today that God is going to give you the strength to bounce back. God is going to give you the strength to rise up and pursue. You shall pursue. And you are about and you're going to and you will and you shall oh, recover it all. You shall recover it all. Rise up as a man and woman of faith and take back your position as a warrior that God has created you to be. Do do not allow fear, do not allow bitterness, do not allow doubt, do not allow this, 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 this disappointment to take root and to refuse, I've called you to refuse to move by the things that God has called you to, to, to do. That you hear, my God, the things that you see, the things that you hear, don't allow it to distract you, don't allow it to push you over, don't allow matters concerning this Present life to derail you, my brothers and sisters. Come on board. Don't jump ship. Hallelujah. Even when the tide is rough and the seas get hot and the waves are rising and the wind is high and the boat is rocking, remember that Jesus Christ is on board. Hallelujah to God. 
things are not going to be in accordance to how you dream. But God knows that if Job did not know God for himself, he would never be able to speak the way he spoke. Though the worms eat my flesh, but yet with my eyes, I shall see God. Hallelujah. The Lord give it. And the Lord take it. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen to me, man. A man that is born of a woman is but a few days and is full of trouble. People of God, I know that God is going to fix it. Somebody say, God is going to fix it. Encourage somebody. Say, Miss Joe, God is going to fix it. My God, Sister Tash, Tasha, God is going to fix it. Sister Camilo, God is going to fix it. My fix God it. Almighty. Sister, Sister Let's, God is going to fix it. Sister Sister Joy, God is going to fix it for oh, you. Yes, God oh, God. Fix it. Oh, Come on, somebody. Encourage somebody. Encourage somebody. I'll call with your card. Sister Mesha Pastor Five, Evangelist Pastor. God is going to fix it. Pastor Chin, God is fixing it, my brother. My God, Dr. Rose, watch God fixing it for you. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Sister Altia, God is going to fix it. Sister Val. God, only God, hallelujah to God Almighty. All God's wonderful people on this prayer line, I'm saying to you this morning, God is going to fix it. The writer said, let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, let the Lord have his way and he will fix it for you. Glory to God. He's fixing it right now. I guarantee that he's going to fix it for you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of Calvary. Oh, glory to God. David was in a dark place. A dark place in his life. Dark place. He was tired. He was weary. He was frustrated with the way life was going. He was out of God's chosen secret place for him. <laughs> he was in Ziglag, winding place. Ziglag means a winding place or a winding place, uh, a place of a circle. Ziglag means a circular place, the place where people with covenant for over here in four months. During this time, David did write any Psalms at all, and he lived a life, a life he had to look over his shoulders at always watching his back because the enemy was after him. This cries of the wood, this, 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 the tears of, of, of the world, talk the word that was in David. According to Mark chapter 4, verse 19, said, and the cares of the world, hallelujah, and, and, and the deceitfulness of the riches, of the lust of the other, of the eye, my God, or of the other things entering in has choked the word, hallelujah, and it become it unfruitful. Glory to God. David was rejected by the people of the Philistine. Ah, glory to God. But there was a blessing in disguise. David was to be Ashish right hand man and to go to war with them against Israel. How can you fight against your own? But he was not allowed. But the other king did not trust David at all. Mighty God. Then said the prince of the Philistine, what do these Hebrew here? What them they are do? And Ashi said unto the prince of the Philistine, Is not this David the servant of King Saul of Israel, which had been with though with me these days or these years? And I have found no fault in him since he fell unto me unto this day. And the prince of the Philistine were wroth with him. And the prince of the Philistine said unto him, Make this fellow go back to him yard. Send him home that he may go again to his place, which that he may go again to his place, which is made unto him, and to follow us no more. 
and to return. Listen, people of God, David town was Ziklag, and that place was attacked while he was away. He should have been in his home. David usually leave men behind to guard the supplies and watch the camp. Usually the enemy would attack when we are not watching. Uh, when we let down our guards, the enemy will attack you. You can't afford to let down your guards, people of God, in this time. You can't do that. The devil is watching you. And if you think that, oh, your dinner is so nice, that you don't have no time to remember God. You know, your car is so brand new. You drive it and don't even ponder accident. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes you are not at fault, but you must look out for them careless drivers who come down the road junk like a bat. The enemy will set you up. So don't let down your guard at no time. Not because you're not on faith walk. Don't just come over here because you want to pray in the morning and for the rest of the day, you're living like a crazy Christian. You can't do that. This prayer line has, the, has, has opened up a pathway for you to have a good day. So don't play with this concern in your life. You don't come over here to waste time and just to come see friends because Sister Val will love you. Or Sister Marcella is here. And because you and Sister Lexi's friend. Don't come here because you and Sister Lexi's friend. Come here because prayer is made for your life to give you a safe passage through the course of the day. You don't come here because we like you and because you like Pastor Mitchell or you like Pastor Johnson or you like Sister Valerie or you like how, how Pastor Chin preach. If that's your motive, your motive is wrong. Your coming over here is to gain covering and protection through the course of your day that the hell that you're going through will back off you when the warriors of God come in the name of Jesus. You don't come here for pity party. You don't come here for pat on the shoulder. You come here in battle. This is a battlefield. So don't come over here to warm bench. It's not a place where you come sit down eating cucumber like brother rabbit. No, sir. It's a warm here. It's a place where you come sharpen your sword. This is the file. Come sharpen your sword because them devils out there don't like you. And you're going to that work right now. You're sitting in your chair, bowing your head. Look at you. God have you here to sharpen your sword because faith work prior line is like a big industrial file. Jesus Christ, rub your sword on it because when you come off the platform, that devil is coming after you. Jesus Christ have mercy. Sharpen your sword, people of God, because when you get off the platform, you're going to feel discouraged. When you get off the platform, you are going back to a situation that has confronted you from last year. Oh, glory to God. You have a court case and you come over here for us to pray for you. That don't mean you must not still go to court. I'm talking to somebody. That doesn't mean you must not go to court because Pastor Let's and the evangelist pastor and the pastors pray for you. Still go to court. What we have prayed for is that you will gain victory when you stand before that judge. Jesus have mercy. We pray for you that the lawyers presiding over your case will gain victory over the matter, the lies of the enemy. Not because we pray for you. That don't mean you must not still consult your physician. We pray that when you consult your physician, the physician are going to say, then how? They will not do blood tests and we see cancer cell. So when them cancer cell gone, and then you can come back, come testify. I say, people of God, I went to do a test. And when the doctor do the test, he was in amazement. Why? Because prayer was made and faith was a prayer group for you. So that doesn't mean you must not still go to war. You have to fight on your own when you get out the prayer line and you have to learn to use your sword because you just get sharpened we don't want you to be a basket when we pour into you you dry out come on somebody you know have no leaking sins over here we are containers who are here to catch the content that is pouring out on the prayer line david and his men lose everything including their wives and their children the amalekites invaded ziklag amalekites represent a type of shadow or the flesh satan 
and and godliness. David was attacked by Satan. He was attacked by shadow. He was attacked by the flesh. He was attacked by ungodliness of ungodly men. Oh, glory to God. We have to come back on this. The thing is too good. But I'm saying to you today, I will take up from this matter because there is so much in this. I wish we have time, but I don't want to overburden you with these things. I just stand to encourage you today. Listen to me, people of God. David and his men wept. Uh, till they could not weep anymore. Eh? He yeah, was greatly in distress. People of God, he was deeply in distress. And I want you to understand that he spoke to himself and God gave him a revelation. Mm -hmm. People of God, when you're going through yeah. your hell, remember that the source of your survival is God. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. The Bible says, ask and I shall be, it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. And that's what David did. The Lord informed David to pursue them. Hallelujah. Go after that devil. Don't make the devil run away with your jaw. Yeah, you know, go after him for it. Don't sit down and cry, you know, Sister Lady. Oh, God. I have my job and the devil take it. And I don't know what. Get up and fight for your job. I feel. Don't make somebody rap you. I got the job up here, you bills. No, make nobody come, come back nine you and talk to you and make you walk out for your job. No, do that. When you walk away, you go stand up and fight that Goliath and take off him head and walk with the two Jerusalem and keep on your sword. I say, I'm Mikhail Goliath. I'm me name when me name and me name can't change. You devil, you are a liar from hell. I'm going to chop off your neck if you mess with my children. I'm going to take off your head if you mess with my finance. Listen, people of God, make the Holy Ghost rise up in you. You need to become the warrior that God made you to be and stop a pity party. Sometimes not in yourself, you know, for Sarifa. Because all flesh will tell you, say you lose. Flesh, get out of my way. I'm a spirit man. I'm more than a conqueror. When the flesh tell you that you're weak and you're discouraged and you feel disappointed, rebuke it. I say, get out of my spot. I have a work a job to do. I have a have a, have a war to fight. And I have a victory to win. The God who serve is not dead. I have hope. That I shall live again. I'm not Amen. dead. I'm alive. I'm not a, a loser. I was born to win. Uh, the Bible tells me I'm more than a conqueror. You come to love me. And you have to talk a word over yourself. And said, in all of this, we are more than conqueror. To Christ that love me. Speak over yourself. My God Almighty, find a word, man. And said, look, a man, the battle is not mine. It's the Lord. When the devil tell you, he's going to kill you. It's a devil. I shall not die. But live and declare the works of the Lord. Some people don't have no sword. When the devil come upon you and want you feel discouraged, you sing a song and said, encourage your soul and let us journey on for the road is long and I am far from home. This be to God, the man in light of fear, the storm is passing over. My God Almighty, when David feel discouraged and God was sitting on the throne and he know that the God who in serve is a mighty warrior indeed, David begin to hum a song and David said, all my life God has been faithful. All of my life you have been so, so good. So I ain't going to make these enemies my God put me down have me time. I'm going to go up and speak over my life. The woman with the issue of blood, can you imagine he had sat down in discouragement, feeling despondent. My God, doctors had taken everything, and instead of getting better, they grew rather worse. But something kicked a nerve in her man. Ah, oh, God Almighty, the attractive nerves. My God, there was a word in the house that said to her, Jesus, the healer, is passing this way. My God Almighty, man, I feel the Holy Ghost, man. 
Jesus Christ, Jesus the healer, the bomb in Gilead, the great physician, the rock of David, the king of our kings is passing this way. I say to somebody today, oh God, Jehovah Jireh is passing your way. My God, the conqueror of the conquerors, the legislator of the legislation is passing your way. The governor of our government is in this way, but the provider is sin. And she said, Oh God, I ain't going to talk to nobody. I'm going to talk to myself. If I could touch the hem of his garment, my God, that is faith under construction. And she spoke to herself and she said, If I have been through so many embarrassments, ah, one more time won't do me no harm. And she get up and she said, if I could touch the helm of his garment, then I shall be made well. Let's work to develop a closer relationship with the Almighty God. People of God, let's work with God to win our family and our community back to Christ. Let's work with God to recover our spiritual and physical and mental health and fitness in God. Let's work with the Lord uh, to build the church, the kingdom, and to destroy the kingdom of Satan. Let's work with God, people of God, because in working with God, you will gain victory and access to overtake and to recover them all. I declare that all who abide in Christ will totally be restored today and will recover everything that the enemy has robbed from your life. There will be nothing missing and nothing broken hallelujah you are made whole in the name of jesus i speak recovery over you today and restoration in every area of your spirit i release the fire of god upon you right now you are made to conquer soul and body and spirit i call you to the place where God has planted you. Amen. You are designed to overcome. You are not defeated. I release upon your life today access to reclaim your position in God. Amen. Peace. I speak peace. I speak peace over your mind right now. I speak wholeness. I hey. speak hope into that place hey. where hopelessness. Hey. I speak hey. wellness into your body right now. I speak hey. wholeness where hey. brokenness, hey. brokenness hey. reside. Hey. I come against the spirit of this hey. The spirit of frustration. Amen. I shine up the spirit of misery and bitterness. Jesus. I command every disappointment to back up Jesus. in the name of Jesus. I speak for the blood of Jesus Christ upon this line today. I command and commission the angelic host of heaven. Hi, Jesus have mercy to 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 surround this fire line and to stand guard over your people. Jesus, my God, release the fire, the fire, the fire, release your fire to burn that is not of you and this line. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Those who are feeling discouraged, those who are Hallelujah. feeling broken, those who are feeling hopeless, those who feel like they, they want to just lock up themselves in the house and don't come outside. Mighty God, God, the darkness that they are encountering, God, God, I pray that you will... Shut down the 
kingdom of darkness that are manifesting in their life. We 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 we, we uproot every demonic incubation, every sperm, Thank every you. cell. My God, that will be released against your people. It will never germinate. We speak death to the, the name of, of every demonic encounter right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and every battle, every battle, every battle that they are fighting, I pray that they'll gain victory. My God, open doors. I pray right now that even over our sister, as she is going through, oh God, a pregnancy, this matter concerning you, my God, that the doctors cannot understand. I pray that this child will turn now, turn a command, a movement in your stomach. Yes. Woman of God, I speak over this child by faith. I yes. command you to turn your days of the coming out. is called I command you to turn in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus. Nazareth, I come against every attack upon your health. I come against every attack in your account. I come against every attack on the job. I come against every family issue that you are encountering. I come against that demon that hold your children ransom. I speak victory into their lives. I speak victory into their lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. I speak, oh God Almighty, over you right now that every disappointment that you have encountered, I come against every attack upon your documents in the name of Jesus. I bind every forces of darkness. I command that land paper. I command that court case. I command that job matter as you write and release those applications. I bind up the force of darkness that is working over time to this to, to, to disappoint you and to break you and to pull tears from your high. I pray that there'll be a healing for every bleeding spirit. I speak life over your life in the name of Jesus. I come against every attack from the underworld. I bind up every dark spirit that is conferencing over your matters concerning your wellness. I come against every cancer cell, every lump in the breast, that pain in the knee, the your spinal cord. I bind that pain in the neck. Imagine. I, yes. I command you to seize and desist. Yes. The Go blood of the name Jesus, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth yes. is Nazareth against you this yes. morning. We speak yes. over the rest of our day. Yes. The very 12 o'clock attack yes. that have been at uh, our God orchestrated yes. to yes. attack your people. The yes. sneers yes. of the fowler, yes. the noisome yes. pestilence, everything yes. that hell and defense against the people of God. We send it this morning. We send the blood of Jesus into our five o'clock this evening. We send the blood of Jesus into our 12 o'clock midday. We send the blood of Jesus. Oh, glory to God on the streets that you shall walk. I send the blood of Jesus over your children in the school room. We send the blood of Jesus into your calves right now. In the name of Jesus, as your children are out and different matters, I will send blood over them. We send blood over the husbands, blood over the wives, blood over everything that have to do with your life and your acquaintance and family. We pray this morning that the powers of hell has been destroyed and I and declare over your life you will recover it all. In the name of Jesus. God bless you today. My God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Joel chapter 2 verse 25 said, and I will restore to you the hills that the locust had eaten, and the kyanka worm, and the caterpillar, and the palm worm, my great army which I sent among you, I speak peace over your mind right now. In Isaiah 26 verse 3, said, Thou will keep him 
in perfect peace whose mind stayed upon him Jesus because so he trusted in thee. May God cause Jesus his blessing God. upon your life God. today. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. If other people are winning, you should win too. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I say this and I close. Things we must do before we can recover all. Yes. Get God strength. Number one. Get God strength. That's number one. Number two. Thing you must do before you recover all. Number one. Get God's strength. Number two. Get God's strategy. Number three. Uh, go in faith. You shall recover it all. How do we recover all? Pursue. Pursue. Yes. To run after with hostile intent. Yes. Run after it with hostile intent. We will never achieve what we are not willing to pursue. Attack the enemy. Strike him. Hit him hard and keep moving forward. Mm. Ask God for strength yeah. to strike again. Hit and keep going forward. Mm. My friends, recover it all. Deliver. Snatch it away from the hands of the enemy. He has robbed you. And this is your time for victory. I have Hallelujah. a powerful God. I have a powerful testimony to share with you at the next appointed time god came through sister joy god came through amen praise god hallelujah sister Let god, god came through praise god praise in god a, Thank when, you. What after god came through in a big way my career jesus Jesus Christ of mercy. Jesus, Jesus. I, I, I will. I, I'm going to save the testimony here because we have to put it in a package. Oh, no, sir. No. God, you're too good to be delivered. God, you're Jesus. too good. Jesus. Hallelujah. Me say, God, you're good, bad. Yes. Jesus mm. Christ of mercy. That's he the mighty came through sir. people of God yes. in a Mama. big. I, I, I say, Sister Joy, because I, I, I didn't say to Sister Joy. Sister Joy, know what I was praying about. Yes, in the but name of Jesus. God came through big mighty time. God, mighty God. Jesus. Big time. And when I come back to Jamaica, devil, you lose. God <laughs> Can't stop you. Lose big time. Can't stop God you. bless you, people of God. Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Everybody, Jesus. lift up your voice Jesus. and praise him. Back over yes, to you, Madam. Open your microphone, everyone. Open your microphone as much as you can. Open your microphone. Give the Lord a praise. Lord, we just appreciate the Lord. 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 We worship Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you for today. We glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Glorify you. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I could I could hear the birthday spirit. Mighty God rises up in the man of God. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Is Pastor that uh, Minister Tyrone Merchant be able to pray? Is somebody saying something? Brother Tyrone, Tyrone Merchant, are you able to pray? For the Terran merchant. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we are. Sorry about that interruption of the internet a while ago. Uh, Minister yeah. Tyrone Merchant, be able to pray for the man of God? No? It is not online. I don't know. Okay. Amen. He is not available. Then as Sister Forever Bless. Can you pray for the man of God for me? He deserves a special Almighty oh, God, a touch this morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sister Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Most holy and righteous Father, here we are in your presence once more, giving you thanks, God, for another day. We thank you, almighty God of Daniel, that we could gather on this platform, O oh God Almighty, one more time. Father, I'm asking you, O oh God Almighty, for your blood coverage even now. Father God, let self be slain and let your name be magnified, O oh Holy Spirit of the living God. Father, this morning as your man's servant, deliver unto us, O oh God Almighty. I ask of you, mighty God of Daniel, to cover him with your blood. Cover his family, Lord God Almighty. Because we know that the enemy has gone back to the drawing board. We know that the enemy has gone back in grouping in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even now, this morning, mighty God of Daniel, as we come, oh God Almighty, we thank you for the word that he has delivered. We thank you, mighty God, that you have used them, mighty God of Daniel, in this special way this morning. Holy Spirit of the living God, this morning as we put him at the throne of grace holy spirit of the living god we thank you for his life we thank you for his anointing we thank you mighty god of daniel that your knowledge you have given unto him mighty god of daniel i thank you that you have uh, allowed him mighty god into to operate in this special this morning and lord god almighty as he poured out oh holy spirit of the living god i ask of you this morning to help us god that we will hold on to our portion in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ of Nazareth this morning. Mighty God of Daniel, I'm asking you to pour back into him, Lord God Almighty, what he has poured out this morning. Anoint him afresh in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover his footsteps, Lord God Almighty. Amen. Even though, mighty God, when it seems like, oh God, you are not there with him. Lord God Almighty, I know, God Almighty, that you have said it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that that's a 
time when you were carrying him oh god i thank you for the anointing on his life i thank you for the way he has delivered lord god almighty i thank you for the way you have coming through for him in the name of jesus christ of nazareth even now mighty god as he leave his home and he's in a foreign country i ask of you lord god almighty for your coverage for his family guide them lord god almighty and protect them lord god cover them with your blood mighty god of daniel i'm also to seal them holy spirit of the living god under your anointing mighty god of daniel i ask of you god almighty to help him oh holy spirit that what he has gone to do mighty god of daniel there will be good results in the name of jesus the name there of will be jesus. favor hallelujah mighty god i thank you this morning i thank you even now that as we gather oh god almighty and receive god God Almighty, we will put it into oh God Almighty into action. Oh God, this morning I give you thanks and I give you praise. I honor, magnify, and I worship your holy name this morning, mighty God. Even though we are undeserving, mighty God of Daniel, I thank you. Oh God Almighty, the way you have come through for us. Have your own sweet divine way this morning with us, mighty God. As we put him on a God one more time into your hand and to your care. Lord God Almighty, let peace. Oh God Almighty, abide. Let your love abide, God. Let a fresh anointing come upon him even now. And I'm asking to have your own sweet divine way with each and every one of us as we wait upon you and say thanks this morning in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Thank you, my God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, woman of God, for that powerful prayer. Yes, yes. We stand in agreement, powerful woman of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Gregory Mitchell. Always coming true. Always been powerful. Non-diluted words spoken. Heaven bless you. And as I was saying this morning, as I said, the birthday spirit rises up in you this morning. Mighty God of Daniel. I just want to give God thanks for you. Always, always, always pouring into us when we feel so down sometimes and feel like we can't make it. But you're always there to lift up our spirit in words. Mighty God of Daniel. He said, must use the word of the spirit. Use it in the name of Jesus. And he also said this morning, must let Jesus fix it for us today. And if we depend on God for the rest of the day to fix whatever situation that seems to be coming against us and stand upon his word, stand upon his promises, then we know we shall fulfill mighty God and we shall be successful in the promise of God. I hear this morning that pastor was declaring some things over her life this morning, mighty God. And, you know, we have to declare these things over our life to be strong. We shall claim good health. We will claim good healing. We shall have to give. We shall always, oh mighty God, always have to give and not to borrow. We shall never be in want. Mighty God, we shall love until it hurts. Mighty God, mighty God, we shall be the best ever to our friends and to our neighbors. Mighty God, that's Daniel. We just want to praise god this morning for this declaration we shall love our neighbors even when it seems so difficult sometimes mighty god and we shall use the psalm 1 verse 3 of our lives we shall speak psalms 34 exodus 15 verse 2 we shall declare psalms 59 over our lives we shall declare psalm 61 psalm 68 verse 19 isaiah 54 we shall do these declarations over our life because we know that if we declare them and believe in them and stand upon the word of god we know that we shall be successful and we shall come through I remember when Pastor Gregory had midday uh, illumination and there's something that he taught us and I, I kept a few of them in me. I probably don't remember them all. But he said, I promise myself that nothing can disturb my peace of mind to talk health, happiness and prosperity to every person I meet. He said, I shall promise myself to make all my friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them. I promise myself to look at the sunny side of everything and make my optimism come true. I promise myself to think only of the best, to work only for the best and to expect only the best. I promise myself to be just and enthusiastic about the success of 
others, mighty God, and not only of my own. You know, some people just happy about themselves and not happy about what other people when they succeed and they don't give a good word to praise them on, to push them on. But he says, I promise myself to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as I am about my own. I promise myself to forget the mistake of the past. Oh, God, help us to walk over the past, mighty God. And press on to the greater achievement of the future. I promise myself to wear a cheerful expression all the times and give a smile to every living creature I meet. I promise myself to give so much, oh God, time to improve in myself that I may at no time criticize others. Hmm. If we try to improve ourselves and to get better at ourselves, we won't see to criticize others. This is so true. I promise myself to be too large to worry. Oh God, too large to worry, too noble to, for anger, too strong for the fear and too happy to per to permit the presence of trouble. I promise myself to think well of myself and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. I promise myself to live in the faith that the whole world is on my that the whole world is on my side, so long as I am true to the best that is in me. The decoration, mighty God, I still try to keep it in my mind. We have learned that on midday illumination from Pastor Gregory Mitchell. And those words, I use them to try to help me to push along the way. If you can catch them this morning as I speak them, use this declaration over your life. When the enemy comes and say, not today, because I promised myself to be good. I promised myself not to criticize my neighbor. I promised myself not to speak bitter against my sister. Tell the enemy, not today, come another day, because I promised myself to be full of love, that there's no place for hate. Tell the enemy when he comes next time, because I will not speak ill of my sister, but I lift her up in prayer. Let us speak this declaration over our lives and continue to keep walking in faith. We are on faith walk. And it is named, I don't know why, I, I, I can't say I know why, but I know God has put in Minister Liz to name this prayer group Faith Walk. Let us walk by faith. And whatever we do, we do by faith. That we stand upon the promises of God. He says, the faith of our fathers living still in spite of dungeon, mighty God, words and swords. So our hearts beat high with joy whenever we hear the glorious word. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Let us live by faith and walk in faith today mm -hmm. and use this decoration over our lives because we know if we declare these things upon our life, say them, practice them, then we have no space for the enemy and for anything that comes to attack us. Is there a testimony this morning, a burning testimony? We are running late already, so just if it's burning, burning, you can say it and at the same time we'll take the, the uh, request for, um, for prayer because we are running a little bit late. It's over to you now. Just give a quick testimony if you have one to offer. This is not really a testimony. Bless the name of Jesus. I just want to encourage the man of God. Keep on keeping on in God because the best is yet to come. I don't know about you, Virgin, but yes, when, when I pass up Gregory, he's going to preach. Trust me, my cup always turn up. I just love to hear him. I love to hear him because I know that he's coming with something, solid word. I know, 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 I God, God bless you, Lady Anne Marie. You know, you know, this morning when Pastor's preaching, and I said, God, my cup is overflow. I said, Jesus, help me to drink from my saucer. And you come with that word. Mighty God, confirmation in my spirit. My cup is running over, and I'll be drinking from my saucer. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Is there another testimony? Good morning, good morning. 
I just mm -hmm. want to say thank you all for praying for my sister-in-law last week. So I asked for prayer for her because she was going to go do a, um, like I said, that our, one of our artery was black. But praise be to God when she went last week for the surgery and they do everything. They said they saw no blockage, no blockage. And it's just that she's, um, tired and, um, have bad feeling. But you know, I'm just thanking you all for praying for her last week thank you god bless you all praise god. praise god be praised god be praised and be glorified thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus another testimony someone has one if not we take on to our prayer request i'm gonna ask um lady k mackenzie if you can do the prayer for the request for me please so you prepare as you see them go up Praise the Lord. I just want to give a quick testimony, people of God. I've been asking for prayer for my siblings um, for the past couple of months. And one of my brother, um, he got stabbed and he he had he was in the hospital in a bad way. He got 13 stabs. He was out when you yes. pray to testify. And um, he also had a court case that they um they were accusing him of something that he didn't do and it was something so dangerous it was like conspiracy to murder and he was like nowhere near where they're talking he didn't even have a clue of what they're talking about. i think they just tried to set him up i asked for prayer and he was cleared of that as well and Amen. Uh, i asked for prayer again i kept asking for prayer and this time now i was asking for favor and um one of my grand aunts came from england and saw him um in jamaica and just bought him a ticket and say go to trinidad and make your life better yesterday i asked for prayers because he was traveling out and a message this morning that he landed safely in trinidad so god to god be the glory and if anyone on here keep asking for prayer if you keep asking for your request because a lot of time i always ask and i hear the women and men of god crying out and you know calling out for my siblings and my other brother as well she said that she's gonna buy him a ticket as well to go and make better of himself as well so god bless you amen praise god to god be glory to god we give the glory and the praise yes let's come true one more time thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus any more um testimony or a prayer request this is a prayer request um i'm doing a lunch on the 30th of this month i'm asking a prayer for that it will be successful amen Thank praise you. god we speak so sex over it my sister in the name of jesus we declare it in the name of jesus And I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, and Marie. Yes. Receive it. There be plenty, my sister. I receive plenty. Yes. You just pull it, it, throw it over on this side, and it was over full. They couldn't pull it. If you call next door to say, come and help me. We have enough fish Amen. over here. You got to have plenty to give in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Any more testimony or prayer requests? It's the name of the Lord, everybody. Good morning. I just want to say that um, I want to thank the man of God for the word because I'm going to take out mine. And so, so much is in it for me and my children. And so my request this morning is to ask you to continue to pray, especially for my girls, Marley and Alexia, Jada, granddaughter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Any more prayer requests? Or a testimony? If not, we're going to ask Lady Kay McKenzie to take all these to the throne of grace.
Lady K, are you there? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Joy, good morning. Good morning, my Hallelujah. sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege we have to carry. Praise Everything. God. Hallelujah. Everything, God. Glory to God. To God in prayer. Lord, we thank Jesus. you this morning Jesus. for a new day. A day, God Almighty, that we have never experienced before. And a day, God, that we will never see again. So even now, we want to make the best of our today, oh God. Because you spare us life. We have life. We are seeing this moment. And we want to tap into this moment. We want to tap into the presence of Almighty God and exalt him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We exalt you as the great I am. We place you in the highest place, high above all else. And God, we come to worship at your feet. We come to bow down and to cry holy and to cry Lord and to cry Savior, Master, Friend. Even now, God, I ask for your cleansing. I ask that you pure Purify me, sanctify my very lips, purify my heart. Let there be nothing to hinder my prayers, God, because we're seeking you for answers. We're seeking you for help. We're seeking you for deliverance. We're seeking you, God Almighty, for an opening right now as your people reach out, as your people make their requests known unto you even now. So, Father, we thank you in advance. We pray, God, because before we call you here, and God, your ears are attentive to the cry this morning. Oh God, with an open arms, with an outstretched hands this morning, Father, you are about to do something supernatural. We thank you for the word that have been released in our spirit, mighty God, that we are to pursue. My God, we shall recover it in the name of Jesus Christ. All that the conquer worm and the palmer worm has stolen, the years that the locust has eaten, we thank you, God, that it shall be restored. Double push portion shall be for your people this morning. So God, we come in faith. We come, Lord, knowing that the victory already won. We come, God Almighty, just to tap in and to just say to you this morning and to believe you, mighty God, through the eyes of faith this morning, we come to you. And behalf, Lord, of Sister Enid, who's crying out for her daughters to be saved. Oh, God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus that you walk into this family and you save, oh God, those ladies, our girls, save them to the utmost, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, salvation, oh God, is a gift from you, oh God, and Father, she seeks salvation for her daughters, and I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not withhold, for you said, no good thing will you withhold, God, she didn't ask for riches this morning, she said, salvation, for God Almighty, without salvation, God Almighty, it doesn't matter, what does it without works it's god almighty because god without you we can't do it we can't make it life will be worthless so lord we thank you this morning we claim salvation in the name of Jesus, that they'll be convicted. They will start listening and reading the word of God because, Lord, your word come, oh God, to save, to deliver, and to heal. So we pray, God, that there'll be a turning around in our family this morning. Lord, you're here. Auntie and Marie's cry this morning, God, a woman of God, one who poured out yesterday, Father God. And this morning, Father, she make our request this morning. Oh God, and I pray blessings as we already did clear success over this luncheon in the name of Jesus Christ to all those tickets. Oh God Almighty, I pray help. Oh God will come. Buyers will come, God Almighty, from the east, from the west, from the north. They will just come in. God, she will not have hand to sell. Oh God Almighty, the blessing just keep coming, coming, coming. That she will see in an abundance in the name of Jesus. I pray you that God, this will be a continuous thing, God, because of the success in the name of Jesus. So you say, whatever we put our hands on, you 
you will bless it. So, Lord, we pray, God Almighty, that everything that she needs to this point, oh, God, you will make the provision that you won't even have to buy anything. Blessings are just coming. Somebody blessing her with this. Somebody blessing her with that. Oh, God, but bless her. Just come and bless the woman of God that she will see her prophet. She will see the turn around. She will see the one over. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, she has been given out on this platform. And we are believing you for a shift for her in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now we know, God, she's a woman who testifies of the goodness of God. And she must have a testimony. She must see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So, Lord, we thank you. And we place it and we believe it done. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we worship you this morning. We praise you, oh, God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. All those requests, Lord God, you see them on this line even now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we just bless you. We just praise you. Oh, God, for Sister Sister Solomon's request, oh, God Almighty. Oh, God, for that interview. Job interview, job interview, job interview, Father. Job interview. Take away her fears. In the name of Jesus, take away the fear for an interview, God. For Father God, we know sometimes the fears stand up when we to do, oh God, interviews. But I pray she will be bold. I pray she will be confident in the name of Jesus Christ, knowing that you are for her. And if it's her job, my God, nothing before this morning. In the name of the Father. Father, we praise you this morning. We exalt you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the requests this morning, requesting children, favor for their children. Oh God, forever bless her. I lift her, your daughter to you in the name of Jesus. Come through for this family. Come through, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For you said, God, no good thing will you withhold, God Almighty. You're concerned about the families, God. You're concerned, Father. And we continue to lift them up before you, God. Lift up your daughter's family to you. And we said, save to the utmost. Oh, God, is there any sick, Lord? Heal the body of those who are sick, Lord, because he's asking for healing and salvation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, by your stripes she's healed. By your stripes God, by your stripes. And we claim healing because it's the children's bread. Mighty God, we put Sister Bloomfield to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. She has been crying out, oh God, for days now, for weeks this request has been in on the chat, mighty God. Oh God, for the youth hall of Jamaica. Oh God, my prayer mighty God, that you'll hear your daughter's request. Lord God, we continue to tell your thanks because you're here from the very first. My God, that this request was made known. And she continued to lift up the taxi drivers, God, all around the 14 parishes of Jamaica. Oh God, we continue to ask blood covering over them. Oh God, in their going out, in their coming in. Oh God Almighty, Lord Jesus, you see the challenge, you see what they're up against. Oh God, taking up passengers, they don't even even know jumping off them to a point they don't even know sometimes god they get chartered to places the almighty god that they are going and some of them oh god don't even know the places but god we pray in the name of jesus christ that you will cover and more so lord you will save them that your hands of mercy will be upon them in the name of jesus cover them not only them but even the vehicle that they are driving under the blood of jesus christ and god choose the right passengers for them father oh god let them not be hold up, let them not be attacked, let them not be robbed, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stretch out your hands this morning, oh God, oh God, hear the cry, hear your people's cry this morning, we are believing you God, we hear the word this morning, and we want to let the word pierce the heart this morning, oh God, and stay in us God Almighty, throughout the day that we shall recover, bless us oh God today, bless your people today Lord, praise you today and for all the unknown requests and unspoken requests god we lift them up to you this morning because they are here this morning and we lift them up and we declare them done we declare them clear it 
well in the name of Jesus Christ for your people. Father, we just thank you for what you're doing, what you continue to do and what you're going to do. Send some testimony on this poor line that God, people can't even wait for the moment to come to testify of the goodness of Almighty God. Father, we honor you. We praise you. We bless you for what you're going to do. The new thing, the new thing, God, the new thing, the abundance, the overflow. My God, mighty God, the no, the suddenly in the name of Jesus. Anytime now we are declaring it, God, that our breakthrough, anytime, God, we wait in expectancy, God. We wait in expectancy and we declare that the jolt is over, God. We declare the jolt is over this morning. It may be financial, it may be physical, it may be emotional. Whatever the jolt is, my God, maybe in the churches, we're not seeing the salvations of soul. We may not see God Almighty what we want to see. The people coming out in their numbers. Oh God, we may not see the awakening, but Father, this morning, we are declaring that the jolt is over this morning. The jolt is over, and we, God's children, shall recover it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We declare it well for each individual here online. A prayer covering over all of us this morning. Blood covering God from the corner of our head to the very sole of our feet. Stamp your mark upon us. You know, going out and coming in. Rock our hands around the families this morning, our children, our loved ones. We put them all before you, oh God. And even for our enemies, those who are rising up against us, you say, pray for our enemies. Pray for those who despitefully use us and persecute us and say all manner of evil against us. We bless them to Father. And Father, we just give you a thanks So what you're going to do. We stand resolute. We stand knowing that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Bless the rest of this mornings oh god be with us and as we depart from here today looking forward to return tomorrow if you spare god we give you thanks we give you praise and, and we declare it done hallelujah we declare it well in jesus mighty holy name we pray and god's precious children say amen and amen amen amen, amen. father of god cover amen. your daughter as she poured out for your children cover your daughter to the mighty god let no weapon form against her prosper I pray, God, that you shall lift her up this day, mighty God. Whatever enemy the enemy has plans, mighty God, I pray, God, that you waste them this morning in the name of Jesus. I pray that you cover her under your blood. Let every powers of you, mighty God, pour it out upon her this morning in the name of Jesus. As she poured out, mighty God, and she come on behalf of your children this day, mighty God. I pray, Father God, that you'll fix it for her this day. Oh, God, I pray that you'll go before her this morning in the name of Jesus and cover her and her family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we declare it and we speak it to life uh, in the name of Jesus God bless you my sister God bless you amen. thank you, you Jesus. God bless you God bless you amen God bless you God bless you God bless you as um, our pastor said this morning let Jesus fix it for you and you shall recover all. It was my pleasure to have served you this morning. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Evangelist Let's I turn over to you just now. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lady Joy. Bless the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Pastor Mitchell. Blessings, 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 blessings. See you all tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. May the good Lord continue to bless and use you all. Continue to pray one for another. Man of God, continue, you know, to just reach out. I believe that the Lord has much in store for you. He's not